any um, you want to speak on uh, the issue with respect to our, our budget? This is a little preliminary before we go through the um, salary structure as we look at all the positions countywide and not just departmental. Um, well, this is the, I you mean, know, you're talking about the big overall. Oh, thing. yeah, the overall scheme of the county, really looking at all departments, whether this kind of reclassification, because I think, I'm not, my opinion is some of that will occur through this process, some of that will get vetted out. And it, it may be that some of that would get vetted out, but I just, I have been waiting on this until the budget time, and that kind of, putting it off to this time prior to that other issue coming up across the county. And so I don't know, you know, that I guess would again be you guys' decision as to how that would be. It, um, I would like to have it as of October 1, if it's at all possible. Okay. Yes, with the new budget. Okay. Thank you. <coughs> I have given each one of you a hand down. Uh, you know. All the years I've been doing this, I've stood before the commissioner's court many different times. I've stood before the court many different times. I've presented it in many different ways. And all that I, only thing I can do here today is kind of go through this presentation with you. I've got three employees that are definitely well deserving of the raise. Uh, Commissioner McGee, you asked me a question last week and you basically kind of asked me the same question. I'd like to address that. I think now is the time for us to address these employees' raises. Uh, I honestly do not feel we need to wait until we have a salary survey. I've heard the salary surveys talk about the last four, five, six years. They went back a long way. We've never done anything. Uh, all we've done is talked about it. The salaries that I presented to you at this time right now pertains to three employees. One of them is Nick Ward. I've given you a kind of a sheet here that indicates what each employee's salaries are currently at, where I have put them at, the salaries for where you seen at budget time is not anywhere what I had requested. Nick Ward, he's my assistant director of facilities. Currently right now, you can see his salary right there and the difference of what he and I both make together. There's a big, big uh, separation right there. Uh, for years, I tried to get this brought back up. So really, you got a difference of $18,900. Looking at your table right there, the top left, this is without any 2% COLA, Nick's current salary versus his current annual salary. Down beneath that, the lower two numbers is what I had requested of the uh, judge where to present within the budget. 
I had requested the salary of the monthly base to be at 5,834 and the annual salary to be at 70,000. What was presented was cut. He put the 2% COLA on it on the additional column to the right of his current monthly base salary. This shows where he would be. And if you added the 2% to the annual request that I had made, uh, it shows the salary. Kind of give you the separation down at bottom right there, the annual increase with the 2% COLA versus without it. You're looking at $9,916 versus $11,324. Mr. Ward, I'm gonna go ahead and speak on him for just a moment. For four and a half years, I was on this county courthouse project. I asked Nick to stand up and to take the responsibilities of the department. I would still be involved on the administrative, on, on running projects other than this one right here. He stepped up to the plate. He did what was asked of him. I think the money is well deserving. Our grounds that we have right here, you've got well in excess of probably a million, million and a half dollars worth of piece of property right here. The reason this property right here looks the way it does is because of Mr. Ward and his two staff, and I'll fix and talk about here in just a few moments. There's a lot of time and effort to go into it. I've heard comments made, uh, statements made about the hours that we spend up here. There's very few that know the hours that Nick Ward and I spend up here part of It's not a set hour between 8 o'clock and 4.30 or 7.30 and, you know, or whatever it may be. We spend a lot of hours up here tonight. <coughs> The main reason is because we care about Potter County. We take pride in our work. We're here to represent the taxpayers of Potter County and make each and every one of you look, uh, look good as well. Uh, the yards are endless. Uh, Nick said, you know, the other night he got a call. Uh, last two or three weeks, he and I have been up here at 10, 30, 11, 30 at night working uh, for your lighting, just stuff like that. But we go well beyond that when we work out. The second employee is uh, Matthew Albright. He is our assistant groundskeeper. Whenever I created this position within the grounds department years ago, I had a position, his name's Charles Thrasher. Uh, he was the place to be known when he had, and we tried to build that level up to where we could get somebody very qualified in here to take care of it, to where the position that Nick has did not have to go out and constantly help these guys through the work. I'm glad Nick's here because he's helped him through this situation. Uh, We've got Matthew Albright right here, the same scenario. You look at his monthly base and current annual salary of 31,836 versus my request of the 39,441. Col columns to the right indicate with a 2% COLA down beneath. Uh, my request to raise is $7,605 to bring him up to where he needs to be. This position right here would be brought up in between the level tech and the level three uh, position for my department. The, uh, with the 2% COLA, you can see the difference right there. Justin Slaughter, the last of my groundskeeper, one position. Same scenario. The base salary of 2,456 with the gross of 29,472. I'm asking this position to be brought up to 34,248. This is a position that would basically be our tech level two positions. They're not to exceed that. We're just trying to get them into the ballpark where our other technicians are. You've got uh, the requested salary without the 2% call up. You're only looking at $4,776 increase. With the 2%, I would definitely ask there to increase by 5,460. You know, the times that we stand up here and we present stuff to the commissioner's court, you know, we do it for a purpose and we do it for a reason. You know, we try to be honest with you. We present stuff to you, what's in the best interest of the project. I'm presenting this to you today to really take, really look at hard, and I'm not using this as a threat tactic. Uh, every department in here could say the same thing. You know, our employees, my employees are very valuable to me. If it was not for them, the Potter County facilities would not be where it is today. They're the ones that look make me look good. These two grounds technicians are the ones that helps make the big board. So when you look at this today, just please, please take into consideration that these requests right here, I feel it's warranted at this time. Uh, the salary survey, waiting another year. Uh, I, I'll be honest with you, I cannot accept that as, as an answer. I want you to please also take this into consideration. 
I lose this gentleman right here behind me. You're not going to get anybody in here with the amount of money that makes right now in order to fulfill that position. I've not come to you and I've not asked you for a raise either. But if you lose that gentleman, if you lose me, you lost two very valuable people. It's going to take the pay scale salaries just to be up where they are in the future to get somebody in here. But what I'm asking you right now is for the work that these three gentlemen have done is to compensate them for it. <clears throat> and uh, as you please do it at this time. for a salary adjustment for my chief clerk, Deborah Guthrie. She's been with Potter County since 1987. She's been the chief clerk since 1991, just 25 years. I'm asking for her salary to be brought up to parity equal pay with the chief clerk for Potter County, JP3. Last year, you approved and granted uh, parity pay for the clerk ones, two of the clerk ones for JP3 to be equal with the clerks of JP1 and JP2. I'm asking you to bring up the pay for the chief clerk to be paired to pay with JP3, which would bring her up to $41,460 before you do the 2% that you're talking about doing across the board. What is that salary? The salary right now is a difference of $3,540, and her salary right now is $37,920. And I'm asking her to be brought up to 41,460. And then if you do the two percent across the board, it would be forty-two thousand two hundred and eighty-nine dollars and twenty cents. And I think waiting a year for the survey is also too long. I just say she's been here for twenty seven years. Oh, she's only twenty-eight here. And the uh comparable for JP3. The chief clerk for JP3 is $41,460. It's a difference of $3,540. Anyone else? Mind you, I mean, I won't take up your time again, but I've already presented my staff, so I'd like to continue to consider that issue. Any questions? Or? And I would just want to say that if you do it for JP1, you also need to do it for two and I will just add a couple of comments, and certainly I know we'll go to discussion, but I asked Carrie to provide uh, some additional information in this packet that we're reviewing, just because for me, this is how I like to start to look at the salary amounts, um, and again, taking out the people, because I, I think we get very sensitive and emotional about the people, as we should be, um, but I do think it makes a very co different conversation versus the salary structure. So several of the handouts that you have really outline the growth or progression of those jobs. And so not for the sake of going through the whole thing, but I just want to highlight a few of them. So on that first page on the grid to the far left is the assistant director of facilities. That's the position that I was speaking to. So it looks to me that that position has doubled in the last 14 years. Carrie went back to fiscal year 2000 and that position was at 30,000. And just a, in terms of a comparison is currently that position makes somewhat if not more than the hr director if approved to the requested amount that position will make more than or, or comparable to tax assessor and county clerk so for me i like to just compare overall in terms of um, work effort because i know that that's different for every department and then to just kind of move through that second position you'll see again the same time element back to 2000 that position at 20,000 now up to 32, and then you'll you'll see the groundskeeper position. The second piece of that, second page of that, you'll see the treasurer positions that are requested, the JP. But kind of the progression of salary more than anything, I find helpful in evaluating. So I wanted to highlight what those documents were, just for discussion. 
Carrie, anything you want to add to that? Because I certainly don't want to speak inappropriate to that. And, 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 and the salary to uh, the short description that we're looking at is over a 15 year period, correct? Um, 14 year period. Yeah, 14 year period. And uh, for me, I, I like to look at the percent increase, that column. So not just the salary dollar amount, but you see percent increases. So to me, that indicates the court had to do something at that time and or the department director with the current policy has re-slotted dollars on the salary line item. So, you know, one, one occurrence in 2002, a 14% jump, in 2007, a 10% jump, 2008, a 16% jump, and, and you can see that progression through all the positions, so not to just spend a lot of time on that one, but I wanted to highlight that information. Well, let's, let's, let's just go down the list. Uh, was that the salary salary No, it's just the actual salary that exists. Okay. Uh, and looking at the facilities, assistant uh, facilities manager, the FY. Yeah, I have a copy. I can look at it on this one. I can use my Yeah, and we can probably project it on the screen here. Just for the sake of, do you have extra content? Can I take Looking at FY2000, uh, I'm just going down the list here, mainly at the, at the speaking of the uh, assistant facilities director, at 30480 uh, there was a 4% uh, increase in FY1, and FY2, there was a 14 Six percent increase. And out of this three percent the following year, nothing not in FY4, four and a half percent in FY5, five percent, FY6, ten percent in FY7, sixteen point three nine percent in FY8, three percent, uh, zero percent, two percent, four percent, two percent, two and a half percent. Yeah, those look like colas to me. Right, Plus some type of discretionary mm -hmm. and yeah. that will be added to it through the years. But the 14, the 10, the 16, those to me signal action by the court. And what dates were those again, Mercy? Um, 2002, 2007, and 2008. Okay, yeah, I didn't take the position until 2005. Whenever I started in 2001, we had uh, Mike. Rick, Pat, Ray, uh, and Ray was our immediate supervisor. Pat was our ground supervisor. Rick was a facilities manager at that time, and then Mike was in the position that he's in now. Uh, currently, uh, you've got Mike and myself. I assume all those responsibilities. Uh, I'm sorry, I, I forgot to mention Andy Lurera, our, our uh, custodian supervisor, um, which, which he's no longer with us either. So. Uh, let's keep that in mind that, that I didn't take the position until 2005 and that, and that those duties have been since then passed on to me or, or put on to my Yeah, yeah and, and I will add, out of all respect, me. I mean, this is really not the person, this is the position. That's and what I'm talking about. The position duties that I currently hold has has changed since those days. Let me let me expand off of that. Uh, for some of you may have been here back then, we had a gentleman two people prior to me that was in that position. Uh, the person was not doing their job. I turned around and uh, went to the judge where, and at that time I'd asked to have the salary reduced. And eventually the person wound up leaving. Uh, the job duties that he was supposed to have been doing, I was doing as well. Uh, I was never allowed to get rid of the person. And finally something brought it about that he was no longer with us. The next person that stepped into that position, uh, which was Pat McMean, Basically the same scenario once again. Uh, we're supposed to be doing these certain job duties. I stepped in and fulfilled it. The position that we currently have and the gentleman that we currently have within that position has fulfilled every requirement that I originally established for that person to hold. So uh, it's definitely warranted. Uh, if there was any increases throughout the period of the years, it was probably due to utilizing some type of discretionary to try to bring that separation back up. The 2% code that y'all given for years
does nothing more than get he and I further separate apart than the other two employees. So Mike, not to disagree with that statement, but to me, there's a lot of history behind those comments. And if, if that being the case, I'm surprised that this is the first budget year that we're kind of hearing this whole package. And then I'm only speaking to my three year kind of going through this cycle with all that historical piece. I'm surprised this is the first time we're hearing I that. think because we also was also promised through the last two or three years, we're gonna look at salary surveys. We're gonna look at salary surveys. Nothing has ever matured. You know, we talked about it again last or last year's budget. Let's look at it for the 2014, 15 year. I've been around a long time, I've seen it. Nothing was ever gonna happen. So this year I presented it hoping it would have happened two or three years ago. I don't I don't necessarily disagree with that. I think there was some uh, uh, disagreement with the court as far as moving forward with the salary. Uh, 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 Except, but I think this year it was, I know it was pretty much on the point for that's what we want to do. Uh, but given what you're, you're saying, I can appreciate that, but I'm looking at, uh, and Nick, you said you saw it in the FY5, and um, there was a uh, discretionary jump in seven and also an eight of 10% uh, and 6% concurrent, 16%. I think about that. When did you get your raise? Uh, 2008, I requested a $10,000 raise. I think it's been several times you've requested it, and, and it was actually cut in half and separated with somebody else, and so they gave me a portion of that, but but I don't, I don't think it's ever been fulfilled to no. what you've asked for it to be done. Something that a request I made would be yes, Two concerns. One, we've had to work sessions to kind of talk about these things. The other concern I have is if we let every one of our employees get up and talk right now, they'd say the same thing, I need a raise. I never had that opportunity when I was working. Um, I never got a raise, anything like this, through my 36 years employer. Um, I don't know, I just think I'm, I'm pleased with where we are in our budget, and I'd like to uh, to move forward. Now, I uh, kind of disagree. I believe these people in the maintenance uh, work harder, maybe than anybody in this uh, county. And I firmly believe that Nick and the, the other two deserve these. Well, that's, that, that's quite about that. That's that's a relative statement. Well, I, I mean, that's my opinion. I mean, as far as the the, 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 the manual versus uh, the you know, there, there's, there's different layers of of, of uh, degrees of hard work, but I, I know you weren't meaning that as far as uh, kind of skying like, over. I'd like you to uh, maybe take a day sometime and uh, go around with these gentlemen and just see what kind of day that they that they have. They uh, they don't work these eight hour days. They uh, they work many more hours than that, and. Uh, I think they need to be compensated at this time. Uh, we keep on uh, putting these things off and off and off, and, and it gets the separation gets more and more and more. So I think this might be an opportune time to take care of these three folks. I, I, I was just going to add that, from my perspective, I don't feel like the court has put it off and off and off because I see these projections of jumps for all positions. Now, whether that happens every fiscal year, absolutely not. But I do feel like the court has made those evaluations um, through my previous tenure. And a frustration point from my perspective is when we hear comments that well, you approved the increase, but you only approved uh, you only approved half, not recognizing that you approved the half. So it always feels like you have the short end of the stick and you're not pleasing anyone. So it is a very frustrating comment. Um, and, I, and I get that it's coming from a good place, but from a, my perspective, that is very difficult to hear because the court always gets tainted with kind of this negative perception of, well, I asked for 20, but you only gave me 10, not recognizing the 10. So just a comment, but um, I think we're all learning through this process. This last couple of budget years have been eventful, uh, and I think we'll continue to learn. Well, and, and, I, and I agree with that. I also want to agree with uh, Kelly as well that uh, there are uh, degrees of, of uh, 
incentive as far as creating pieces we can look at. Uh, and I know that across the board, there are probably, I don't think there's one department out here that would say that they would believe that their employees are deserving a raise as well. And uh, we just have so much to go around. That's why I think it's so vitally important that we establish this salary uh, uh, structure committee and move forward. We're going to do that. I think that that's something that the welfare standards that we move on that and start getting very things paired up, if you would. And that's going to be a difficult process. But given where we are now, and I think there's somewhat of a, a disagreement with the court as far as whether to do or not to do. Uh, and considering that, Mike, what you uh, presented or with uh, the three uh, positions that you believe that should be incrementally uh, raised, um, as a, uh, and I'm just speaking from, from one perspective, one commissioner, I hope I don't open up a, a can of worms for everyone else out there, but it's the it is, so be it. Uh, what would be your, um, uh, what would be your negotiating, negotiating point as far as uh, the, the amount that you put forward? Let me, let me start off first state this. Please, with all due respect to everybody that's in here and their employees, do not compare me or my staff to the fire department, the sheriff's department. Our jobs are totally different. Uh, next position, it's totally different. So to compare us to, you know, another department or another elected official or something like that, with all due respect to them, if they want to make that kind of money, then they need to run for the position. And I don't mean that to be mean to anybody, but I've seen it for too many years. Quit comparing us to other people around the county. Don't compare me to Tom Green County down in San Angelo. There's no comparison, we've been down there. To go back to your question, uh, I'd be selling my employees short if I turned around and said I wouldn't take nothing at all. I think I'd put it in your court for y'all to make that decision. You know, 50% of course is better than none. Uh, I would not stand up here and address this to you if I honestly did not believe within my heart that it was just that. And I know that every elected official out here in the department head would do the same thing. I have presented it to you. Uh, you know, Nick Ward can choke me when I leave here if I turn around and say, oh, I'm going to do this up for 50%. Ladies and gentlemen, I have put this before you, and I've been honest with you, and I'm asking you to truly look within your hearts and see what you would do to address the situation. Not only that, but don't look at my salary based on making a decision for everybody else. Nick's going to show up to work tomorrow because Nick made the agreement to do the job. Okay? Just like I do every snowstorm, just like I do every night, just like I do any other time. But don't don't sell Leanne's department short no. because because you're disgruntled about the amount of money that that I'm gonna make. Don't 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 discard Matt or Justin or or anybody else. Okay? Because nobody knows what my job entails each and every day. And there's not a person in here that hasn't worked with me personally. And and I, I don't think anybody in here is gonna say that that I've I've ever not fulfilled my promises. <clears throat> I've I've been I've been an employee for you guys for, for 14 years. But this this is where it's getting personal. Yes, this is not and, and about that's not what this is about. No, it, it, is, about it, is. it, it, it is about it. Because you when you start up to the podium when you start like comparing when you start comparing me to others, others, that's when it becomes mm -hmm. that's whenever it comes personal. So that's my point. And and Mike, just in terms of your perspective in your department, I absolutely respect that. And where I feel like our position, my position on the court is to look in our heart and what can be fulfilled countywide. So it's absolutely appropriate that you have the lens on for your department and rightfully so. And the challenge to that is we have to take a holistic at the whole county. And what does that really mean? And what does that impact me? So I would agree with Commissioner Church's comment. I, I have never been in a setting to counter an employer and, and ask for dollar amounts. Um, and for me, this, this is borderline getting a little 
um, inappropriate, you know, I'd like you to come to the podium if you are going to address the court because this opens the door at four other employees. And I, again, I can't think of any department director, um, just as Judge Boskis did, stood up and said, if you're gonna do it for that department, then don't forget about these other two. So if the court is positioned to open that can of worms to your comment, Commissioner, so be it. But um, from what I'm looking at and the perspectives, I think the court has tried to make those shifts when appropriate. And again, I'm just looking at the dollar amounts and the salary and not the person. Which is the best I can do. And I think that's, that's true. And but uh, I go back to uh, the question I, I posed. And in everything there's a there's a there's a, there's a negotiating uh, process with this, and uh, it, 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 we just have so much to uh, to lay out. And I agree. And just just hearing what the comments, just tentatively what have been posed here today. You know, it's, it's, it's nowhere in the world that we can balance out the be one, two, three, and four because all of them have been there at the same amount of time. And uh, so we cannot just uh, just lay out the particular <laughs> equation because it doesn't, it, doesn't, it doesn't fit. But it's still out there. And uh, uh, so the question goes back to you as far as if the court is ready to hear that, maybe not. But I know. Commissioner Kelly made a strong uh, point as far as uh, the facilities and certainly that's uh, the department that he owns. I think we need to, to look at each uh, entity on its own merits and not compare because maybe if these guys are going to get a raise, then uh, why should everybody else get one? Because they get one. I mean, that's. Which goes back to the salary. Uh, well, that we have <laughs> the so. That's been being established for years. It's not established yet. Uh, I firmly believe these people need, need to raise and will. Uh, I like to maybe take a vote on it and then uh, take each entity as it comes up and uh, we'll look at it, uh, see what people think of the other, the other entities. Okay. So you want to take a vote on each one that's been presented? Yes. Single? Yes, I'd like to uh, take a vote on the facilities, the maintenance folks. And, uh, give the raises that have been asked for. And just to confirm, you're, you're putting all three positions in the one motion? Yes. To, to, to the point, and I have a anguish here because I somewhat agree with where you're coming from, but to the totality of what was presented, I don't. And uh, so that's gonna put me in sort of a... Uh, well, that's what we're here for. That's why we have to vote. I mean, that's... Uh, Hope with your heart and uh, with, uh, I think, I'm voting with my heart. I believe that these people uh, uh, well, that's far and above, mean. far and above, do more work, more hours than anybody else may be in the. Uh, that's why I would have rather have some more discussion yeah. on the yeah, amount, the number that we're looking at, rather than just uh, the amount that we're looking at. But if you uh, uh, fix on go ahead and voting on that, so no. I made that motion. Okay. On the matter of the facilities. Could, I'm sorry, could you repeat that? Please? Yes, I'd like to make a motion that we approve the salary increases for Nick Ward, for Martin Albright, and Justin Slaughter okay. as presented. All right. I would rather see that as positions rather than made. Yes. Uh, whatever. You made the motion. <clears throat> okay. Uh, motion is on the floor to. Uh, as presented by the facilities director, the increase of salaries for the three individuals so stated. In a second. Second. Okay, motion fails for a lack of a second. Position Chief Clerk, is that correct? Yes. And the amount that was and I've got um, uh, a question on in regards to this. Uh, I have more uh, 
looking toward somewhat of an increase for this position because of the, the time factor that this individual has been part of that position. And I'm willing for uh, that uh, being somewhat uh, more considerable than the uh, bond. So, motion on the floor to have that position raised to what was the amount again? On that? Forty-two three. Forty-two three from 38.6. six. That correct? Says, uh, Dave, did I ask a question uh, to get some clarification? Sure. Oh. Yes, sir. Judge Owen, if you come back to the board. Commissioner, was, was, was your statements, was that, in the, was that a motion or? Or not? Have you made a no. motion yet? No. Okay, all right, just want to make sure. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. So, the matter of uh, uh, speak to that uh, position again as far as the the duties, the the, the duration of time that the individual has been in place and uh, what's she went to work for the county in January 1987. She was promoted to chief clerk January 1991. And as far as her duties, um, she schedules all the hearings. <laughs> She does all of my plus reports and send those off. She does all of my crew reports. Um, she does step in, she answers the phone, she handles the public. She, um, anything that I've asked her to do, I mean, she, she does that. She, um, as I said, she scheduled hearings. She's the one that deals with paperwork when the attorneys bring the paperwork, files those. As far as parity with the other. Yes. Uh, chief clerk said, how does that The other um, chief clerk at this time makes $41,460. How long have they been in that position? She's been in that position, I would say, 18 years. 18, 19 years? Maybe a little bit longer, maybe even 21 years. She came to work for Clark County in around 1990. And she became the chief clerk a couple years ago, and I'm not exactly sure. Any questions? Like my comment, uh, I would not be in favor of any raises at this time uh, since. Uh, we can't raise anybody else, so let's just wait on the uh, the, uh, the study to be done and uh, maybe make some adjustments at that time. I'd agree with that comment. I'd like as a uh, uh, parents of courts to delay this before these trials, the sour can be established. Commissioner Kirk, do you have any questions? Uh, I just want to make a a suggestion and everyone might not agree with me about this as far as the department heads but at one time we had a longevity pay that at that time it was five dollars um, per year for additional years that an employee work and um, but, you know when you have someone that works 20 plus years or 15 years or whatever their their position starts uh, you know whatever position salary is um, it is for a position not for the person or how long they have uh, shown up every day and worked that job and learned as much as they could and I I think that should be a consideration when we're along 
long-term plan of what um, is considered for salaries. And uh, I just, that, that shows a lot of appreciation, I think, for an employee that's served a long period of time. Of course, I'm up here saying that and I have employees, I have two that are 20 year employees, two that are 14 year employees. And, you know, it goes down from there. I just have two of my employees that have worked less than five years. And, you know, that they deal with the same thing all the other employees do. It's like, we get a salary increase and it goes to insurance. Well, you know, we know that. We love the, the insurance that we have and the benefits that we have and everything. But, you know, just five dollars a year for their service, additional service uh, for all those years would be helpful. So you're saying for a twenty-year person, they get five dollars times twenty yeah. per year. And we did have that at one time, and it was pulled. I wish somebody else that's been here a long time could remember how how that all happened, but. I think some of the comments at one time were, I think at $5, just as I moved another year. <laughs> but, you know, I, I don't look at it that way. I think um, however much time, even if you got a new employee, how much time do you spend just training them about the county, you know, who people are, like what offices are where, you know, what you, you know, just simple. And I just, I just believe that that should be considered in the long, in the long term. And yeah, yeah. So I be in the public hearing for August twenty fifth, fifteen. And um, the conclusion of the public hearing is that B is to adopt the final budget for fiscal year 2014 2015 and budget for the county county special funds. So, Carrie, anything you want to add before we take a motion? No, I didn't. I'm to recap the changes that we have in the budget workshops. Is there anything that you feel like we missed? I know that we certainly took in. Lots of information. Um, and from your perspective, the overall kind of budget strategy moving into this fiscal year, what, what's your opinion on that? I'm not sure I understand your question. Do you feel like we're in good shape? Yes, I do. Okay. <laughs> I make a motion that we adopt the final budget for fiscal year 2014-2015 um, for the budget and Potter County special funds. Second. Okay, we move the second to adopt the budget for the fiscal year 2014-15 for our budget for the Potter County special fund. Those in favor, show your hands. Passes 4 0. I have seen the adoption of the budget to recommend a proposed tax rate for the MO and debt service for fiscal year 2014 15 to confirm date for two public hearings on the tax rate and to confirm a date for a final vote adopting the tax rate. Okay. The jerk is slightly above the effective tax rate. The law requires us to have two separate public hearings for tax rate. So which is, I think, what, 29% or something like that increase, I mean, less than 1%. 29. So, uh, what we do is, uh, uh, <laughs> so, uh, and so, um, and then we have to have another uh, hearing separate for that for the actual final vote. And so, to get the publication of the end on time, we, I think, you previous, previously okay the first tax rate hearing public hearing on the uh, 8th and then the second one will be on the 11th we have to have them a certain period of time and I think we had some discussion about having that in the evening one of those yes the 11th I thought we discussed 5 30. okay and then we will be here y'all want to have that here yes okay uh and the reason I'm asking is uh we've got to tell people 
in our notice about the proposed tax rate, when the two hearings are going to be and where they're going to be. And then uh, we will have a final vote, as we say, at, at, during the regularly scheduled commissioner's court meeting on September the 22nd. Okay. And that will take care of it. September 22nd. So, Carrie, just um, for simplicity's sake and full transparency, I'm going to state this again just to make sure I understand it. So the tax rate that we're discussing is the same tax rate. The amount, the 0.89, the less than 1%, will only take place if there's an increase on someone's property value of their home. No, the 0.89% is the increase of the rate of the effective rate calculation. Okay. Effective rate and our tax rate. But the tax rate's gonna stay the same as it did last year. Correct. So the only time someone would realize an increase in their tax specific value of their property the value remains the same, it will be more increase. Okay. I'd like to make a motion, but I can't seem to find the M&O and the debt figures. The M&O is 60270. 0.0 the total tax rate will remain at 0 0.63402. I move that uh, we set the tax rate for M&O and debt service for fiscal year 2014-15 at the M&O rate of 0 0.60270, the INS rate at 0 0.03132. Can I make one minor change in the wording? Could we say a proposed tax rate instead of set tax rate? Right, right. It's, uh, sorry, we picky. Okay. Benjamin, uh, somebody? Yes. Okay, uh, I'll second that. Okay. Uh, motion on the floor. As stated, for the uh, proposed tax rate. Those in favor, show of hands. Okay, passes for zero. All right, so we're going to now, we're going to get a couple of points here. I think we just have one executive session. Any uh, agenda items before uh, the come before the board? I'm sorry, but I couldn't hear the report. Are the dates in the meeting? The dates? The first public hearing is September 8th, which falls on the commissioner's court um, timeline, and the second is September 10th. It's that Wednesday, I'm oh, sorry, 11th, and it will be at 5.30 p.m. And the final is the hearing of the uh, September 22nd. Okay. Just uh, information for anyone that might be interested, we're going to hold the uh, public meetings for the uh, county assistant districts out in different locations and I'll let you know those locations as soon as I firm them up but uh, we're going to do those on uh, October 6, 7, 8, and 9 and I'll give you those locations hopefully at the next meeting. Okay, now we're going to at 11.47 Adjourn for our executive session. Can we, can we do that? Excuse me, Commissioner. Can we go back to the budget just more briefly? What we need? We wanted to uh, talk about the retirement rate, which we wanted to set as part of budget. All right. Um, Commissioner Hall, you have 
just including that as a bonus aspect of retirement. Yeah, we didn't increase that. Are you? No, we did. Yeah. No, we did not. Because, uh, because of the state uh, holding those uh, allowance for us three hours later. Did you have that uh, contribution rate right set in the set up in the budget at the 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13. Yeah, So it's already put in the yes. operating right? It was built okay. in to the budget. Mm -hmm. No increase because of that grandfather clause. Because of the, the implications uh, to the gas uh, uh, accounting. As so, do we need to recognize that separately or it's implied in the budget? Well, we just talk, what, if we could just have the minutes reflect that the adopted budget includes the uh, the teams as being incorporated in the, the rate, I think, just to kind of bring to our attention a little bit that I don't think you actually need to vote on it yet. You have, in fact, my adopted budget. We just want to make sure that you know what you're doing. So, okay. Okay. Good. Thanks. Also, but there is one thing last year this court asked that we, during the budget process, um, to uh, make sure that we approve for the judge to be able to sign the document setting that rate when the time comes around in, in January. And it's my understanding that needs to be done separately. So I would like for that to be okay. included yeah, in the yeah. so that separate motion authorizing the county judge to sign the sign the document. To sign it. Uh, the for retirees for the retirement system. Right, for the retirement Even system. though that's not included on the agenda day, do you think that's we're part, fine? Yeah, that's part of the budget. That's why we, we didn't I intentionally didn't include that separate item. Yeah, that's that's fine. All we're doing is we've already approved it in effect and all we're doing is authorizing him to sign it. Like or some of the designated people. It's just a ministerial act. That's right. And when does it have to be signed? It'll it'll be signed at the end of the calendar year. Okay. And last year we brought it back at that time. We were asked at that time to put it on during the budget process. So we didn't bring it back. So there's a noted. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I have to make a need a motion. Yeah, a motion to authorize the county judge to sign us a document for retirees, or what is it? Approval. Okay. Approval. Approval. I'm sorry, Lance. Any any documents required for the TDC RS. Okay. Okay. So move. Second. <laughs> you made the motion? Okay. I'm not sure. Yeah. 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 Commissioner Hill, I made the motion. So, and Commissioner Church second. You only made out the motion. I'm not going to go down the motion. He did the same move after. He took the easy way out. The motion is approved and seconded to approve of the motion to allow the county village at the end of the fiscal end of the calendar year to sign for the uh time Okay. Those in favor, show of hands. Okay, passes for you. All right. At 10 and 11 50, we'll adjourn for the next session. Let's get to reset. <laughs> We have a new record for the long commission. Is this a new record? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I'm not sure. Not since I've been here. The commission's court is reconvening after the recess for executive session. The uh, commission's court met in executive session and no action was taken. <clears throat> Anything else to come before the court? Seeing none, hearing none. At 12, 29 and a half, the court of law will be 2014 status. The next Tuesday, we'll be at 9 o'clock.